Here we are folks, Decathlon. I'd forgotten my sunglasses when I went to France. So I have that chair. It's much cheaper here. I like that a lot. Ooh, I might have to get one of these. Everything you need to go camping. Okay, that looks interesting. <laughs> I gotta get a bunch of cool stuff. <gasps> oh, I need one of these. Gear up and get outside. I just got back from a family vacation in France. And if you don't know, or if I haven't said it before, I have kind of a, a close connection to France. I lived there for a number of years. I've got family there. But now that I've been doing Outdoor Empire, when I went back this time, I wanted to go check out some of the camping and hiking gear that they have and use there. So I went to what is probably my favorite outdoor store, and that is Decathlon. This is a massive sporting goods chain, the biggest sporting goods chain in the entire world, actually. They are based in France. They have big box stores all over the world, except for in the US, where I think they only have one or two in the San Francisco Bay Area that are relatively new. But they're starting to grow a little bit in the US just with their online presence at decathlon.com. Now, Decathlon has sent me a few pieces of free gear in the past, but this is not a sponsored video and nothing I'm gonna show you today was sent to me for free. I purchased all of this with my own money. When you go into a decathlon store, they have all kinds of things from sporting goods for team sports and whatnot to camping gear, fishing gear, hunting gear. I really enjoyed seeing the selection of car camping gear that they have. They've got a lot of clever tables, camp kitchens, even some coolers now, which coolers aren't actually a huge thing in Europe, believe it or not. I looked at their camp kitchen stuff. I looked at tents. I looked at camp chairs. And then I really took a close look at all their hiking and backpacking gear. They've got a lot of great backpacks. They've got backpacking stoves, headlamps, sleeping bags, a lot of the core pieces of gear that you need if you're going to go backpacking or camping. Here are the things I ended up purchasing so that I could bring them back here to the US and actually use them out camping and hiking. The first piece of gear I wanna show you is this. This is the 4Class MT100 Easy Fit 50 liter women's backpack. Now, my family and I plan to take a backpacking trip this summer to the Olympic National Park. I hope it works out and that we get our permits. But my wife has never actually gone backpacking before. And I haven't done anything more than overnight with my kids. So I needed to equip them with some basic gear, but because we're just kind of getting them started and I really don't know how seriously they're gonna be interested in it, I didn't wanna go out and blow a bunch of money on expensive gear. So I was looking for something affordable and oh my gosh, this thing is affordable. This costs 70 euros. Now at the time of filming, the exchange rate between the euro and the US dollar was about $1.07 to one euro. So at 70 euros, this is only about $75, $80 maybe. And it is a bargain for that price. A couple other things though about the price to keep in mind is in France, that price that you see on the ticket and you pay includes sales tax or TVA in France or VAT. That's 20% of the price, so 20% of that 70 euros or 14 euros is actually sales tax. So the real sticker price, that would be apples to apples, comparison to the, with the US is about 56 euros or about 60 bucks. They do sell this pack here on decathlon.com in the US. It's actually only $100 in the US before taxes, which is a pretty good deal. So as you can see, they sell things for a whole lot more money in the US than they do abroad. Another example of that is the little truck pad that I've shown in other videos. It's I think $12 here in the US, six euros over there. I digress. Let me say most of these items that I got over there I don't believe are available in the US. And if you're interested or curious about it, I will put links below to everything I can find a link for at decathlon.com. But if it's not in that list, I apologize, you're gonna have to go on a trip to France to get it. Now, the material feels tough and durable, but it doesn't look quite as, I don't know, high-end, you could say, as some of the other packs out there that cost three or four times as much, of course. But what it does have is a lot of clever features like a full zip front that opens and closes. It's got what they call their Easy Fit Adjustable strap system which is pretty incredible it makes it so it adjusts the torso length for just about any hiker i'll go into that more in detail perhaps in another video if you're interested but just suffice it to say the fit is pretty great for just about anyone i'm really excited about this pack my wife put it on in the store and it fit well and i'm excited for her to give backpacking a try with something that appears pretty darn decent for a very reasonable price it even includes a rain cover this pack for my son this is the Quechua MH500 
28 liter backpack for kids. I paid 40 euros for this, which is less than $45. And the quality feels fantastic. It had excellent reviews online on the French website. And I'm really excited about it because it just fits my son so well. Now it's super lightweight. It only weighs about 780 grams or about 1.7 pounds. It doesn't have a rigid frame, so it's pretty flexible in that respect, but it does have straps and an adjustable torso height system that I already figured out fits my son very well. And the whole whole thing zips open even if the top flap is closed. This pack even has load lifter straps. So a lot of the features of a legitimate adult size backpacking pack, but all made in a very small lightweight form factor that I think will make this hike very pleasant for my son. These are not polarized, but they do have a polarized option. I thought these looked kind of cool and they have a bunch of different styles, but these are only 16 euros, which is about 17, 18 bucks. I'd forgotten my sunglasses when I went to France. I hate driving without sunglasses. And since we were road tripping around, I stopped in and bought these and I'm, I'm happy I did it. But something I'm much more excited about is this tent right here. This is the four class tent tarp MT900 as they call it. I don't know whether it qualifies as a real tarp by many of your standards or definitions, but I'm very interested to try it out. It's also all white. They have a whole line at Decathlon of just white undyed materials used in their tents and sleeping bags and whatnot. And that's supposed to be a more environmentally friendly or an eco-friendly play on their side, trying to use less dye that requires more water to create and, and all that good stuff or bad stuff, I guess. But anyway, this is a two person tent tarp. It weighs 1300 grams, which is two pounds and 13 ounces. So not the lightest weight you might hear of in a tent, but it's not too bad either. That pack size as it is here is four liters. And granted, I could probably get rid of this little burrito bag if I wanted, shed a few ounces. And they give you a five year warranty at Decathlon. However, this is something that is not available in the US to my knowledge. But even still, I'm gonna do a full review on this soon. So I'm not gonna get it out and set it up for you today. We'll check that out in a future video. If you like this kind of stuff, I invite you to subscribe so you can see that and more videos to come. But what I loved about it is that it only costs 190 euros, which is about 200 bucks. Now that's not dirt cheap, but it's also not overly expensive compared to a lot of tents out there. A tent under three pounds, good for two people for 200 bucks. I'm really curious to see how well this works. So stay tuned. This is the gas stove MT900. Now this was interesting to me because it is only 1.7 ounces or 50 grams. It's a very lightweight backpacking stove. It costs 55 euros, about $60. And it's a very similar or competitive product, I'd say to the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. This little stove sheds almost an ounce compared to the Pocket Rocket. I'm really excited to try this out. I'm gonna do a full review video on it soon. I'm curious, is it a Pocket Rocket killer? We'll find out. I also got this, which is the gas stove MT500. This also appears to be a very nice lightweight stove at only 85 grams. This one came in at 35 euros, which is a little less than 40 bucks. Last I looked on decathlon.com in the US, you could not get this ultralight MT900 stove, but this one here, the 500 is available. And to light the fire, I got this little guy. This is a Swedish Fire Steel Scout 2-in-1 from Light My Fire. This isn't made by Decathlon, it's made in Sweden, but at only 12 euros, which is about 12, 13 bucks, I thought, why not? I've been meaning to get a flint and steel to keep in my pack at all times or to keep in my camp box. This also has a little whistle built in, seems to be lightweight and do the trick. So I'm looking forward to using this. And to eat my dinner, I was a sucker for this little guy. This is a simple foldable spork, the foldable spork 500 for class brand, which is one of Decathlon's house brands. And it's simple. It just folds in half, it's a little spork, but then it has a slider mechanism here that allows you to lock it in place when you eat your meals. This only costs two euros, and my only regret is that I only got one of them. I should have gotten five, so my full, whole family would have them on our upcoming backpacking trip, but at two euros, it's hard to beat that price. I love it when something costs as much as you think it should, and that's often the case at Decathlon. Another ultralight, ultra cheap item is this little flashlight here. They call this the On Bright 50 flashlight. It's only 10 lumens bright, which is not very bright, but it's extremely simple. It goes on, it goes off, that's it. it takes one AA battery, so it's gonna be easy to resupply anywhere. For four euros, about four bucks, that's a heck of a deal. 
And while I was in the flashlight section, I was a sucker for their headlamps. This is the HL500 USB. It's a 300 lumen headlamp. It costs 30 euros, about 32, 33 bucks. It is slightly waterproof, IPX5, which means it should be good in the rain. It only weighs 90 grams, about 3.2 ounces, and it is USB rechargeable. 300 lumens is a pretty good brightness for a headlamp. It also means it's a little bigger and a little heavier than some, but it's still relatively lightweight in my opinion. It's got four settings. It's got a red light for when you just need a little bit to see what's going on in the tent. And then it's got a 20 lumen, an 80 lumen, or a 300 lumen spotlight, and you can put it in strobe mode as well. At its full brightness, it should illuminate out to 65 meters, which is about 200 feet. And I think that is more than adequate for most camping and hiking situations. And a lot of people go with less just so that they can have something lighter weight. And if that suits you, then maybe check out this BIV 500 USB headlamp. This is only 100 lumens, but it's much smaller and lightweight and more compact. It only weighs 45 grams or 1.6 ounces, and it is also USB chargeable. This one only has three brightness settings. The red light is 7 lumens, and then you've got a 10 lumen or a 100 lumen brightness setting on the white light. It should illuminate out to about 25 meters or 80 feet. This one seems like the type I might be most interested in taking on a hiking trip for its compact size and weight. Whereas that other 300 lumen one, I'd probably be most inclined to take on a car camping trip. But the headlamp that really got my goat and I couldn't help but get it was this little number. This is the HLD 100, a nine euro, about 10 bucks, headlamp that has this really interesting strap that is barely a tiny string. I don't know if you can even see that. It's retractable, it's so different and unique that I'm definitely gonna do a review on this one. Actually, maybe that's that strap, maybe that's how you charge it. Oh yeah, look. Looks like that string is actually how you charge it. As you pull it back, there's a thing in there that spins. I guess as you're going down the trail, you can just do this for a bit. If you do that for one minute, you should get five minutes of illumination with it. Pretty interesting product. I'm gonna see how well this works. Speaking of stuff you put on your head, this is the Trek 500 Merino Wool Beanie. This is a very simple little beanie that is compact and lightweight and squishes down very, very small. I have a similar one to this, but it's some other kind of synthetic material, and I really wanted a wool one. So I got this. It was only 12 euros. That's only like 13, 14 dollars. I believe these are available on the US website, but I'm pretty sure they're more expensive here. It says 89% wool, 11% polyamide, whatever that is. Now I'm a big fan of Decathlon's MT100 puffy jackets. I have a couple of them, and they will inevitably get a snag or a hole in them. And they had these little patch kits for four euros. That's less than five bucks to patch it up if you start losing feathers somewhere. That's a pretty good deal. When compare this to something like Gear Aid Tenacious Tape or those patches that Gear Aid makes. I always like to have something to patch gear in both my backpack on a hiking trip or just in my camp box on a car camping trip. Now I have a little fanny pack that I got a while back and I busted the buckle on it. And this looks to be the same size and this was only three euros, about three bucks. I thought that was a good deal and it makes it easy to keep using my old gear. It's always nice when you can extend the life of a piece of gear. So if you're looking for some random little replacement part, Decathlon may have something that will get it back up and running. And the last little random thing I found that I thought was interesting is these are just a couple little multi-use straps. Some nylon webbing that I can use for anything from cinching down gear to strapping something to the outside of my pack. This was also really cheap. It was four euros, which is a little more than four bucks. And stuff like that I find really handy for all kinds of things. I might use this to tie down stuff on my motorcycle actually. Well, there was a whole lot more gear than that that I wanted to bring home, but I was trying to keep things compact. What did you like out of this video? Do you see anything that you're interested in or that you'd like? Which of these items would you like me to do a full dedicated review on? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you want to see more of what Decathlon has to offer, go check out this video I did where I highlighted some of the hiking gear that's cheaper there than anywhere else. Then gear up and get outside.